गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी विल डू द फ्लावर सॉरी दिस इज द चैप्टर फ्लावर फ्रूट एंड सीड बट इन दिस वी विल डू द फ्लावर पार्ट दिस इज द चैप्टर दिस इज माय बुक दिस इज एनी अदर एडिशन बुक बायोलॉजी फॉर मिडिल स्कूल इट्स ऑल अबाउट साइंस दिस इज दिस बुक यू कैन सी and in this the chapter is flower fruit and seed but i am going to tell you about the flower and this is related to the flower lecture one okay so let's start first of all hello to every every everyone okay you can see clearly in the picture which book is this now we will do see flower fruit and seed which is on page number 24 and i have opened at page number 24 this is the full book i am showing you see 24 you can see <coughs> now let's start a class so first we will see key concepts what is written i am telling you what i am going to tell parts four world structure and functions of each world this i am going to tell you see parts okay structure and function of each world and pollination self and crop and it is also written idea of okay idea means agents of cross pollination we in this chapter but i will tell only tell you that parts of flower structure and function of each world and pollination what is pollination and uh, self and cross pollination so start with our first concept so it is written in this that flower is the most attractive and colorful part of the plant they are found in different shapes sizes and colors it contains reproductive organ it also produces fruits and seeds the flower is the as we know that flower is the most attractive and we try to that uh, snatch that if we get any beautiful flower from any plant okay and it is very colorful part of a plant they are found in different shapes okay some flowers are like sunflower is like like this some are round some are uh, jiggly piggly different shapes sizes are also some are small small some are big some are rectangle some are circle okay and colors also are different as we know that colors cannot be same some are pink pink means like lotus red like rose white like lily okay now we'll it contains reproductive organs uh, and in this we will see that how flower go uh, produces means uh, produces which process did it take to produce food and seed okay how to how flower produces in fruit so it is also written that it also produces fruits and seeds so that's also important in this chapter it contains reproductive organs we know that i think who are learning about the flower must be knowing that it contains reproductive organs now we will see worlds of a flower so first world of a flower is calyx what first of all see this common flower parts this is very important for you you can take see shot see now let's see common flower parts and this is the anther you can see that and this is filament on this which upon and these both are known as stamen these both are part of stamen we will know about stamen also ahead now you can see over here the stigma now you can over here the style also and uh, the you can see here the 
ovary and these three come are the part of pistil we will see what is pistil also now this is petal i will also tell you about petal and sepal okay sepal is this and petal is the most beautiful that we like in our flower flower in the flower this is the most attractive and beautiful part that we get attracted to the flower we don't know these functions we can't do operation okay but we know that this is the uh, the most beautiful part in the flower is uh, we see that we see in the flower is uh, that petals and sepals and that green green yes sepal and most important that is your that line is called thalamus okay and the most important thing is that what i was telling you uh, one flower came in yellow color i'll show you in my next video i'll show you that flower in that i can see that filament okay now stamen and the filament and petal okay these are stamens mean male part of a flower i have told you in short that what is stamen now let's have a look on calyx because calyx is the first whorl of a flower and calyx is also known as sepal calyx is also known as sepal okay remember this that uh, i have told you what is sepal see over here this is the sepal so we can say in scientific calyx okay now corolla let me explain you calyx calyx is the outermost or the it is the first whorl outermost it is out now so it is the first whorl okay it consists of green colored leaf like structures called sepals the main function of sepals is to the protect the flower during bud stage uh, if you see a bud like this then the sepal when a, it becomes a flower then sepal is not so much clear when you see a bud here and here green like structure is there that protects a bird that a flower can be beautiful and attractive in its way how the bird is now let's have a look on corolla now what is not corona corolla <coughs> corolla is also known as petal and petals i told you the most beautiful and by seeing petals we get attract to the flowers okay this is the second whorl of a flower obviously it consists of large brightly colored scented petals okay uh, we know that it is brightly colored and some are uh, scented petals does it constitute the most attractive part of the flower we know petals enclose and protect the reproductive parts i have told you this wait wait you can see the reproductive part like anther filament it is covering sepal uh, sorry petals are covering that okay now we have seen what is corolla one more thing is left at the prime function of corolla is to attract insects such as bees and butterflies for pollination now we will see what is pollination i had only in this video only hana huh, the prime function of corolla is to attract insects okay now we have seen corolla now let's have a look on another one now another one is andosium it it is the main part stamen main part of a flower it constitutes a third part of a flower obviously it forms the male reproductive of the flower as we know we have seen on the screen the andosium consists of various male reproductive these units are called means the androecium consists of various male reproductive units and that units are called stamen only if we carefully observe a stamen it consists of two important parts if we uh, ignore carefully a flower mein hum log agar observe kare to humko uske two parts milenge androecium ke that are filament and anther c c you can see anther in the flower if we see carefully this is the anther this only i am telling you about anther in one flower i am able to see i have one flower and this is the filament we have seen in the structure
okay now well, let's see what is filament filament is a long thing hair like structure which bears yellowish shine like a low structure on its free end and anther is a small sac like bilo ba, uh, bid structure bone at the tip of the filament each anther contains many fine powdery particles called each anther that uh, contain it contains many fine powdery particles which are called pollen grains pollen grains okay now let's see gynoecium now gynoecium also have three parts first let us see what is gynoecium gynoecium is the first uh, fourth whorl of the plant it constitutes a female reproductive and oecium is male and gynoecium is female and gynoecium is also known as pistil okay and this sigma style and ovary are parts of uh, female parts of a plant means st uh, pistil i am showing you i have this book diagram okay now let's see what is ovary wait wait the pistil consists of one more female reproductive unit called carpel each carpel has contains three more important part ovary style and stigma ovary is the swollen part of the carpel and it present at its base the ovary contains one or more ovules in it ovules are small egg like structure <coughs> and contain female reproductive cells called ova sing ovum okay you can see on google or style is a long tube like extension of the ovary and constitutes the middle part of the carpel style is the tube like extension of the ovary and constitute the middle part of the carpel on the tip of the carpel there is a small no style style i am only telling you on the tip of the carpel there is a, a small disc like structure called stigma on the tip you can see on the tip of the carpel there is a, a small <coughs> on there i was small hard disc like structure called stigma it is a place where pollen grains are received during pollination i will tell you it is a place when pollen grains i have told you are received during pollination now we will see the uh, process of pollination okay types of flowers the flower that shows all of the four whorls is called the flowers those who have the all four whorls uh, are called complete flower examples that is the, what are four whorls we have learned sepal petal stamen and pistil <coughs> these four whorls scientific name they consist of both endosium and gynosium they are also called bilocial the the they consist uh, the flower that consist of both endosium and gynosium are called bisexual flowers for example we can see in example hibiscus rose sunflower a flower that lacks one or more uh, structure structure is called for example androecium is there and gynoecium is not there in a flower and gynoecium is there but androecium is not there in the flower that is called uh, incomplete flower since they lack either male or female whorl mm -hmm. means they lack lack means they are less with androecium and gynoecium every flower has calyx sepal and petal but uh, uh, one the incomplete flower does not either they does not have male and either they does not have female and they have both they are complete flowers some examples of incomplete flowers are begonia willow ray florets and all sunflower etc now as you can see on screen we are going to do pollination now what is pollination the process of pollination the transfer of pollen grains from the anther nay ha of one flower to the stigma of another flower we have learned that uh, the pollen grains transferred to the stigma during pollination let's see kinds of pollination first of all there are two kinds of pollination first is self pollination now let's have a look on self pollination it is the transfer of pollen grain from the anther to the stigma 
of the same flower on the another flower of the same plant means it is the transfer of the uh, on the means it is the transfer of the same flower means the when pollination occurs it transfer to the same plant or the another flower of the same plant means if there is rose and in rose pollination is going on so in it either in one rose only or in a, a, a that rose to that rose the pollination occurs in the same plant only is called self pollination now we can see some example no we don't have any example no 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 now and i am thinking to bring uh, an other that we have done masti or jokes na that we will do again now pollination cross pollination cross now cross pollination is the transfer of pollen grains from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower of the same kind okay means the pollen grains in cross pollination the pollen grain from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower of the same kind means agar दो प्लांट्स हैं एक ही काइंड के तो वो क्रॉस दो प्लांट्स पे जाता है एक ही फ्लावर पे नहीं होता है एक प्लांट के वो दो प्लांट्स में क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन अकर्ज होता है बाय दिस पिक्चर वुड बी मोर क्लियर सेल्फ पॉलिनेशन सी इट इज अकरिंग पोलेंस आर अकरिंग इन दैट ओनली ऑन क्रॉस पॉलिनेशन यू कैन सी फ्रॉम दिस पिक्चर वुड बी मोर क्लियर सो थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे दिस वाज अ नाउ वेट फॉर लेक्चर 2 and please keep on learning i am sending this video on youtube